Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. Something is wrong with me. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt empty, incomplete, like a part of me is missing. This hollow feeling has dominated my life. I've never been able to feel anything else. My world has always been cold, dark, silent. My mother was exactly like me when she was a child, but when she met my father, everything changed for her. He brought warmth and color and life into her world. He made her complete. She told me that one day, I'd meet someone special, just like she did. Someone who would cure me, fix me, save me. I've spent my entire life waiting for that day, dreaming of the moment when I'd meet the person who would complete me. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. It was my only reason to live. And then... One day, I found him. When I met him, something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. I felt warm. I felt complete. I felt alive. He is my escape from the cold, gray, empty world I've been trapped in. He is the one I've been waiting for. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But someone is trying to take him from me. She wants him, but not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me. I have to stop her, even if it means hurting her even if it means killing her. There is nothing I won't do for him. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. Hey. 
Do I know you? I saw you stalking an upper class. I'm sorry, there must be some as- There's no need to play dumb with me. I'm listening. Then, I'll let you borrow it. Return it to me when school's over, okay? Yeah!
Hmm. I bought a used copy of the Anvania re-release, but the game always crashes right after the first boss. I'm not sure if there's a problem with the disc, or if there's a problem with my Psycho Station 4. Would you please take this disc home with you, play it, and tell me if the game crashes after the first boss? You'll do it? Thank you so much! I really appreciate it! I know you're there. Run along now. There's nothing for you to see here.
Jan Vania, Senpai of the Night. Monster! You don't belong in this school! It was not by my hand that I am once again given love. I was called here by Senpai, who wished to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal boys' hearts and make them your slaves! Perhaps the same could be said of all girls. Your words are as empty as your heart! Senpai ill needs a girlfriend such as you! What is a senpai? A miserable little pile of heartbreak. But enough talk. Have at you! The Academy Institute is a Ugh. The disc is scratched. Crashed for you too, huh? Well, now I know there's nothing wrong with my SS4. You can keep the disc. Thanks for your help.
You're the one who wanted to meet me? Your note said that you wanted to talk about... blackmail? Yes. I know that you have a stalker. And I know that he's blackmailing you. No, you've got the wrong idea. I mean... Yeah, someone is stalking me, but... He's not blackmailing me! Then... Why don't you call the police? He's... He's got a... He's got a hostage. He's threatening to harm them if I go to the cops. What? Who is being held hostage? I know you're not going to be able to take me seriously after you hear this. It's my cat. My pet cat. He kidnapped her, and he said he's going to kill her if I call the police. He says that if I want my cat back, I have to go to his house. But I know that if I step foot inside of his home, he won't let me leave! Has he given you his address? Well, yes, but... Tell me where he lives. Why? What are you planning to do? I'm going to rescue your cat. What? Don't try it! He's a dangerous person! So am I. You don't know what you're getting yourself into! Just hand over his address and let me handle it. Fine. I just want this horrible experience to end, one way or another. I'll text you his address. Thank you. But don't blame me if you get hurt. And don't let anything happen to my cat! Don't worry. Leave it to me.
Now, where did I put that cake mix? Hmm, I think I'll add some extra frosting. My love, my queen, my goddess. I knew you were real. I knew you existed somewhere in the real world. I knew we'd finally be together. Huh? Who are you? How did you get in here? Are you one of my sister's friends? What do you want? Hey, he won't get away with this! Oh my god! That's my cat! I can't believe it! You you really rescued her! Now I can finally report that scumbag to the police! I need to return your cat. And... I will! And one last time. You have a nice place, Yanchan. Thanks. Where are your parents? Overseas. So you take care of yourself? That must be hard. I manage. I want to thank you again for rescuing my cat and saving me from that stalker. That was a horrible experience. I'm so glad it's all over. The tea is ready. I'll be right back. Feel free to keep talking. I can't imagine what it's like to become obsessed with someone after meeting them for the first time. It doesn't make any sense. I'm shocked that there are people in this world who would actually be willing to harm a cat just to get what they want. That's insane! He said he loved me, but I don't think it was love. It was just a sick, twisted obsession that he believed was love. It makes me feel sick. But starting today, I won't have to worry about it anymore. It's all thanks to you. Here's your tea. Thank you. Oh, I just realized I've been rambling this entire time. You said you had something important to tell me, right? Yes. It's about the boy from Class 3, too. The boy you have a crush on. Huh? huh? I, I don't have a crush on him. He's just my childhood friend, that's all. I, I don't have feelings for him at all. If that's true... Then, you wouldn't mind if I confessed my love to him, would you? Huh? Confess your... love? Are you saying that you have feelings for him? Yes. Deep feelings. I've never felt this way about anyone before. And I can't bear the thought of seeing him with anyone else. I know that you love him. And I know that this is a selfish request, but please, don't take him away from me. Let me try to win his heart. You got me. It's true. I do have feelings for him. But after everything you've done for me, I could never take someone away from you. Okay, I'll do as you've asked. I'll stay away from him. Thank you. But you'd better take really good care of him, okay? Don't worry. I will.
You're safe now. Congratulations on eliminating Osana-chan. Welcome. Come back soon. Hey, Senpai, do you ever have recurring nightmares? Nightmares? Well, lately I've been having a dream where I'm standing outside of school, underneath a tree, and for some reason, I can't move a single muscle. I'm like a statue. I guess I wouldn't really call it a nightmare, just a weird dream. How about you? Sometimes, I have dreams where somebody ties my hair around something really heavy and throws it into the ocean. I get dragged into the water and drown. That sounds pretty scary. You know, I read a book that said our dreams are actually reflections of our subconscious feelings. Maybe your dream means that you subconsciously feel worried that your hair is a hazard. If you cut your hair... Maybe you'd stop having the nightmares. No way! It took years for my hair to get this long. I wouldn't cut it because of a scary dream. When do you plan to cut your hair anyway? It's almost touching the ground. I made a promise to myself not to cut it until... a certain idiot stops being stupid and realizes how I feel. Huh? I don't get what you mean. Anyway, if our dreams really do have meaning, what does your dream represent? I... haven't really figured that out yet.
Who would want to talk with me in a place like this? Chan, are are you the person who left that note in my locker? What did you want to talk to me about? I need to tell you something about the boy you have feelings for. Uh, you know who I have a crush on? Oh, it's so embarrassing. Well, what is it? What did you want to tell me? have him. He belongs to me. you take a knife out of the cooking club. Why did you do that? Oh, that knife actually belonged in the home ec room. I was just putting it back where it belonged.
talking to me for <laughs> trust me I'm not the kind of guy you want to get involved with if you spend too much time around me you're gonna get hurt I'm not just saying that you know I'm serious I pissed off some pretty nasty guys and every day they wait outside the school gate for me to show up so they can beat me senseless if they see me and you together they'll think you're my girl and if they get the impression that you're important to me, they'll probably try to rough you up. Or worse. So just stay away from me. Got it? <laughs> what? Are you insane? You think you could take them on? We're talking about a gang here. You wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Your funeral. I'll be waiting at the school gate at 3.30.
one of my assignments. It's for my least favorite school subject. I hate this stupid assignment so much, at this point, I just want someone else to do it for me. If you're willing to complete this assignment for me, please do it where nobody will see you. The table in the library would be the perfect spot. Really? You'll help me? Oh, thank you! Now this stupid assignment is finally behind me, once and for all! <laughs> Thank you! Your diary fell out of your book bag. I picked it up to put it back, and I accidentally saw what was written on one of the pages. Something about an evil photographer? It made me worry. Are you in danger? Do you need help? Please, tell me what's going on. Why don't you call the police? I'll go to the insane asylum and burn the photographer's pictures for you. Don't worry. I'm tougher than I look.
trust me. I'll be fine. Give me your phone number so I can call you when the problem is resolved. There they are. Right on schedule. You better leave before- Hey, you're not actually gonna try to fight them, are ya? They'll kick your ass. <sighs> no turning back now. Here they come. I've... I've never seen anything like that before. You're... not human. <laughs> After today, I definitely won't have to worry about those guys anymore. If you hadn't stepped in, though, they probably would have killed me. I... <laughs> I owe you my life. There's no way I could ever pay you back for what you just did. But... there's someone else who might be able to. My brother. He's got... connections. You know that street with all the stores? At night, you can find my brother there, in an alleyway. I'll tell him to hook you up with whatever you want. After that, we'll be square, alright? And hey, thanks again.
On April 1st, Ryoba Aishi put a note into the locker of Sumire Saitozaki. After reading this note, Sumire went to the East Third Floor Girls' Restroom. That was the last time anyone ever saw Sumire. After she was reported missing, police investigated Akademi for clues. In the East Third Floor Girls' Restroom, they found some of Sumire's blood. Shortly before Sumire went missing, Ryoba Aishi was spotted carrying a knife and walking in the direction of the East Third Floor Girls' Restroom. Later, she was seen carrying a large garbage bag towards the school incinerator. All of this information came from Ui Tunisu, a student at Akademi, who was interviewed by the police the day after Sumire's disappearance. It's obvious what happened to Sumire. Ryoba Aishi killed her in the bathroom with a knife, stuffed her in a garbage bag, and carried her to the incinerator where she burned all of the evidence. Do you deny any of this, Ryoba Aishi? I did not kill Sumire Saitozaki. It's true that I put a note in her locker and spoke with her in the bathroom, but I simply wanted to discuss a personal matter with her. Nothing more. What about the knife? I noticed that one of the knives in the home economics room was missing. It turned out that someone had brought the knife to the cooking club by mistake. So, I simply took it from the cooking club and put it back in its rightful place. And the garbage bag? How do you explain that? I love my school. I can't stand to see trash and garbage piling up everywhere. I do my part to keep the school clean, just like everyone else does. <laughs> you always have a convenient explanation for everything, don't you? Do you really think anyone in this courtroom is going to believe your obvious lies? <sighs> Mr. Journalist, there are a number of problems with your theory. First of all, you're accusing me of murder, but you don't actually have any proof that Sumire is dead. She is still considered missing, after all. I think she simply ran away because of the stress of studying at an elite school. I pray that she is alive and well, and will return to us one day. You think I killed Sumire because of three facts. I spoke to her, I held a knife, and I burned some trash. However, none of these things are grounds for suspicion. Every day at school, dozens of students talk to each other, touch objects that could be used as weapons, and carry garbage bags to the incinerator. There was nothing unusual or suspicious about my behavior. You know, I think I finally figured out what's going on here, Mr. Journalist. Your apprentice, Sonoko Sakanoe, became a celebrity after she stopped a killer. You're desperate to pin a crime on me, because you want to be a celebrity too. The only reason that any of us are in this courtroom today is because you're deeply insecure that your apprentice has accomplished more than you. Order! Order in the court! <laughs> it's true that there is no smoking gun evidence linking you directly to a murder. However, with that said, over the past 11 weeks, you have demonstrated behavior that is suspicious, if not outright incriminating. Your classmates have testified that you've been stalking a certain boy at school, following him when he goes shopping, following him when he walks home. By all accounts, you're absolutely obsessed with this boy. Furthermore, every time a girl begins to show signs of interest in him, something always happens that removes the girl from his life. You can't possibly expect anyone to believe that these facts are mere coincidence. Clearly, you are sabotaging the boy's love life in order to keep him single. And who else had a crush on that boy? That's right. Sumire Saitozaki. You've been eliminating every girl who comes between you and that boy. And Sumire was your first victim. Order! I said order! Enough conjecture. Let's go over the facts.
Taking all of the facts into consideration, it is clear, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges.